try to feel your way through the drawing. Uh, when you stop, you start thinking. When you start thinking, that's when you get into trouble. Just react to what you're seeing, work through forms. Arms should be constantly moving. Studio arts is one of the areas that satisfy creative expression requirements. And uh, what a student uh, gets from a studio arts class is the ability to face a blank page uh, without freezing. I want a student to experience the feeling of overcoming challenges. It's a different way of seeing the world, being able to see things abstractly, to analyze not only form and space, but being able to see things from a different perspective. I want the students to really discover the magic that is creative expression. You have to be open to it. You have to trust that what you put out will return results and really go beyond preconceived expectations. If you have a preconceived notion as to what you think the drawing is supposed to look like, you're, you're uh, trying to control things too much. I ask you to surrender yourself to the process. Remember, we're learning how to see in a visual way, we're learning how to see objectively, and that it's very important that you take the blinders off and really look for all these the issues that we've been dealing with and how it applies uh, to the figure. You're going to be creating, but you're going to be having accidents. And some of those accidents are ones that you want to obliterate and erase away. But some of them are going to be very wonderful. It's important for students to be open to both. This is working better here because you're looking at planes in space. Okay. Um, using this to help define that. Now, it's kind of coming in reverse order uh, that I want you to address. Many students will come in, you know, with this idea of well, you can't evaluate art. And that's okay, true, I, I, I agree. But we're not evaluating art. What I try to do is isolate issues. I break down the drawing from the point of view of process, and I break down the process in very specific and separate issues so we can be very objective in terms of meeting specific goals. And we'll string a series of these exercises together. And as we go along, we add more and more variables. As we go along, we have more and more experience to be able to objectively make judgment. Through uh, the critiques, uh, they're encouraged to, to really challenge themselves. So they're also in a position to see, so-and-so did this and it's working better than what I had done. So there are advantages with working in a studio setting that they're going to learn from what I might have to say, but they're also going to learn from their 19 or 20 peers. There are such a variety of students that come to the class and what they take from the class, I think it's different for everybody that takes the class. But one thing they gain out of it is the confidence in their ability to sit down and just really record images uh, you know, in a freehand manner. They are looking at things sometimes for the very first time. It's fun to see the students reacting to what they're doing. Being able to do what they heretofore could not conceive of. Um, and it's there. It's just a matter of stepping outside of yourself and to see things with fresh eyes.